politics. Politics doesn't happen often in Minecraft, since usually whoever is the best at combat makes the rules. However, in this Minecraft server, that isn't the case. Power is won through wits, backstabbing, and also incestuous marriages. I have tasked myself with obtaining as much power as possible and dodging taxes. This is Stoneworks MC. I found diamonds. Are you actually kidding me? The island I was on was small, located in the Sea of Pearls, surrounded by the vast empire of Yimu Ardal. I was dressed in iron armor and rags, with only my unenchanted diamond tools to survive. Was this really it? Would this really be my nation? No. I needed to join a pre-existing empire and work my way upwards to riches and power. This is because the server works on a chunk-based land claim system. This means if a group of players claim a chunk, only they can build and break blocks. Claiming a chunk costed money, and I had around 18 Ethiopian beer to my name. Therefore, I would need to join a country before I could create my own. Another problem was that there was simply nowhere left for a claim to be made. The landscape was littered with petty kingdoms and cities, which made it impossible to create a sizable claim. Fortunately, I was soon offered a place in a town, and I decided to investigate. This place is nice. The settlement appeared to be reasonable, and seeing my incredible turtle shell hat drip, they decided to invite me to their city. No taxes? Oh my god! No taxes, Pog. Oh hey, 2019 called and it wants its silly word back. Let's replace this outdated language with something more modern. Would we need to talk about your balls. Oh Are they smooth? Yeah, no way, yeah, yeah. Anyway, after I was accepted into their city, it was decided I would have a tour. But first, I would be given a house and become an epic homeowner. Oh my god, a house. Yes, home ownership. Oh my god. Oh shoot, this place is nice. Yo, is this, this it? I just, oh my god. Oh my god. I get free stuff. Some rules, but they're really simple. Okay, I'm assuming it's just don't commit war crimes. Oh yes, customs. Citizenship form. Oh my god. Apply first in one of our states. Citizen. I need a citizenship form. Oh my god. Bruh. Before the tour began, I was asked if I needed anything. Did I really, as a new citizen who had contributed nothing to this incredible society, ask for anything? Did I have it in my heart? Yes! Yoink! And now, it was time for the tour of my new home. The town had already got significant infrastructure, including an enchanting table, experience farms, and a novel method of powering furnaces using dripstone. Now I know that the cactus farm looks different from standard designs. This is because no automated farms are allowed on the server. Every resource must be gathered by some action of the player, be that a flicking of a lever or gathering the items manually. This means experience is very difficult to come by. Villagers and all hostile mobs are also disabled, meaning that books such as mending are a rarity and cost tens of thousands of coins. The only way to get a mending book is by fishing, therefore getting a maxed out fishing rod was my primary objective after enchanting my items. Alright, status update. I need to make um, 300 and something thousand dollars to put mending on my stuff. I'm pretty sure this portal I'm making is like highly illegal. So, you know. As I didn't bother reading the rules, I just figured like don't blow up anyone else's stuff. Um, you know, the usual. And definitely not don't construct a secret underground basement and, um, you know... That kind of thing. I'm gonna get killed or banned or some some other like.
Instead of messing around with interdimensional travel, I decided to try and get a maxed fishing rod so I would have a chance of getting mending. Anyway, I started to fish, and these are the things that happened and the items I got. Yay. Look at this. A bow. It works. Amazing. Oh, we got a fishing rod. Oh my god, you can join my father. Ages, and they're just, I've lost my house again. God damn it. Um, I've been fishing for ages, and like... Okay, guys, we've got the the two sides of, of this server here. My bowels loosen, and we shall proceed to sacrifice to the voices. It calls for us. It calls for blood. Oh, we got a fishing rod. Let's have a look. It's just a piece of garbage. Okay. Pretty. Oh, shit. The void gifts. Is that the gifts of the void or the void? It partakes in the practice of giving. Okay, now that now there's a chosen one. Just great. Oh, we got a fishing rod. Great, I can't wait to see how I'm disappointed this time. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! I'm pregnant! Right, let me let me go and see how much this would cost. Worth every penny. So now all I needed were 37 levels to combine the two fishing rods into the best fishing rod obtainable in the game. That meant a return to the cacti. Song over. Let's gather the cacti. We love the cacti. Yes. Yes, I'm so happy. Oh my god, I got a single congrats. I'm so happy though, look at this. Look, I own infinite food. I own infinite enchantments. I harness the infinite power of the cosmos. And that's where I'm going to leave it for today. 10 likes for part 2 and there will be a bonus video at 200 subscribers. Thank you for watching.